All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout be between two Knoxville boys in the bantamweight division, brought to you by the Rocks Tavern. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of this bout is Josh Ward. It's the first buddy out of the red corner. Tonight, he brings in a record zero wins with one defeat. He weighed in 133 pounds. But I got a Kings Boy tie in MMA in Knoxville, Tennessee. Jacob Clemens! <laughs> Staying across the cage tonight. Buddy, out of the blue corner. He brings in a record one win with one defeat. He went in 136 pounds. But again, a national martial arts in Knoxville, Tennessee. Cody Jordan! Flyway bout at 125, presented by the Rocks Tavern. Jacob Clemens in the silver and black trunks, taking on Cody Jordan in the all black trunks. Great to have you with us. Valor fights 22, and this amateur bout is underway here in round number one. Oh, wow, beautiful. What do you see here early, Casey? I see both guys sort of sizing up here. Beautiful left hook there. Again, Clemens in the silver and black, Jordan in the all black. 30 seconds into round number one. Good kick connected by Cody Jordan. But Clemens really close in the distance well. You know, we discussed that reach advantage uh, that Cody Jordan has here. Uh, Jacob Clemens, he's, uh, he's doing what he has to do to make his, uh, his game work. We've seen Tyler, uh, Cody Jordan, try a lot of spins, whether it's fists or kicks. He's turned his back a couple times. Nice, yeah. nice catch. Yeah, he's done a lot of those. I, I kind of like to say the only time a, a, a spinning maneuver is, is beneficial is if it lands. Because um, you do, man. You expose your back. You, you put yourself off balance. Um, you know, it, I think it's a dangerous thing to do. If you're, if you're really proficient with it, though, you know, why not? Keep it interesting. Make it fun. Cody Jordan was pushed down on that exchange, and he was inviting Clemens to come in. And Clemens said, nope, stand up. Let's go. Here in the halfway point of round number one. I do like the game of Jacob Clemens, though. He is smash mouth in the face of Cody Jordan. Every time Cody Jordan picks up that leg to throw a kick, he is right after him. Here in just a second, you're possibly going to see one of those shots land, and it could be fireworks there. Cody Jordan, a number of feints, delivers a kick, but then he eats a punch all right from Cody Jordan. Yeah, there's, a, there's a couple things you can do when a guy kicks. So you, can, you can check it. Or you can eat it and, and throw something right behind that and, and hope that yours hurts there worse. There we go again. And there we go. Another and catch and, I mean, just barely missing with that straight right. Yeah, and he's using the latter method there. He's taking a kick to the leg to deliver a, a big pump, uh, a big fist to the face. Um, you know, oh, oh, nice. What a shot go. there by Jacob Clements. On, he is an onslaught wow. right here. Deep trouble. Vicious work by oh. Jacob Clements. Yeah. Jordan needs to intelligently defend here. He's holding his leg, but he's got to either defend or take him down. There we go, going for the takedown. Can Cody Jordan hang on as we're near 30 seconds left in this first round after he took a flurry from Jacob Clemens? What a combination by Clemens. Jordan's got to turn that angle, and, and, and he's got his right arm around his leg. He's got to pull that out or fought to the top, it but right be, now he's just holding on. Yeah, it may be that Cody Jordan is just recovering from that shot. And now Clemens raining yeah. down, punch, hammer, fist, final 10 seconds of the first round. Tries to spin out, got, has oh, it back. Wow. Beautiful back pass right there. No wow. time. Snuck in a couple of punches there late, but Jordan survives after being decked by the combination from Jacob Clemens. Tyler, who do you think uh, you're going to go Clemens there in that first round? Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. He did really good. A lot of defensive striking. You know, wasn't necessarily the, the aggressor at the beginning, but every time Jordan would throw something, he would become the aggressor. You know, I mentioned it earlier. You know, Cody Jordan, he was uh, flipping that leg kick out there. I knew Jacob Clemens was sizing him up. Eventually, Cody Jordan backed up towards the cage, and then here comes Clemens with that onslaught, and it delivered. See the replay there as Clemens raining down the punches. Yeah, and Jordan was just holding on there. And the thing is, man, you got to look at it from the point of view of, do you have your opponent's leg or does your opponent have both of your arms? Um, you know, when you're just holding on there. 
We're ready for round number two of three. Three three-minute rounds in this flyweight bout at 125. Jacob Clemens in the silver and black trunks. Cody Jordan in the all black. Both Casey and Tyler going with a scoring of Jacob Clemens in round number one. And they're going to get some water in the cage here. All right. And that's they move Clemens. So one cool thing about Jordan. these one cool thing about these small guys, you know, they just had a very active, very aggressive round one. And they both, you know, they're both completely recovered. They don't look fatigued. They don't look tired. Um, you know, the, the cool, you get three good, fast action rounds with these smaller guys. Ready to go. They'll touch gloves, and we're underway in round two of three in this flyweight bout. First kick from Jordan. Again, Clemens closing the distance. Very dangerous with his hands. Good combination as well. Right, left. Yeah. Undoubtedly, and as we saw earlier, Clemens has some, some serious grappling skills as well. Jordan not following up. He'll, he'll land a kick or a punch, but doesn't look like he's able to string anything together. No, no, I feel like he needs to set that kick up a lot better if he wants to land, but at the same time, if it's me, I'd probably just stop throwing the kick because every time he throws it, you know, Clemens puts one right down the pop at him. Yeah, it's very dangerous, and it's not just one. He fought, he hits the right hand and follows it up with the left hook, and that's very deadly. It can't be. You can see in Clemens' body language, he does not look like he fears any strikes he's from Cody Jordan. Very relaxed. Minute gone by in round number two. And this is Jacob Clemens' fight so far. See if he can finish. I don't know that Cordy Jordan has thrown a single punch in this round. It's been all kicks. That's a good point. With your eye. He's putting his hands up to try to catch punches. And now it's Jacob Clemens, Clemens landing the right leg kick. Fans get a little antsy as there's a lot more feigning than actual contact. Oh, nice. Clemens throwing that leg kick. You might look for him to set up a head kick. You know, uh, Jordan just keeping that left arm really, really low. And every time Clemens throws the kick, he, he drops it even further. Could there be a hand issue with, with Cody Jordan if he's not throwing any That's punches? That's true, too. Yeah. And it, and it could also be an issue. You know, he took a very, very hard shot in the first round. He may not oh. be recovered still yet. And Jordan checking with Clemens. Thought maybe he poked him. Or maybe a low blow, perhaps. But apologize, they kept going. You know, if I were Cody Jordan, I would, if I'm really, really intent on throwing that right leg kick, maybe Fake that right leg kick and go with the Superman. Oh, oh there's a punch. And it landed. <laughs> I think that punch even uh -huh. surprised Clemens. Wow. Here we go. More punches in 10 seconds huh. than we saw in the whole round prior yeah, to Cody that. Jordan pulling guard. And we saw him trying to, to draw Jacob Clemens down into the guard in the first round. Oh, wait. We've we been having Achilles lock. Oh. And Very, that. Very nice transitions there at the end by Cody Jordan. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Interesting decision to try to pull that, that guard there at the end when he, he was having some success with that with the hands and the, letting them go of the combination. I think that, that you know, Jacob Clements was surprised by the, by the hands because, you know, Cody Jordan hadn't thrown a single punch throughout the first uh, three quarters of the, of the round. Right. Uh, and it may be, you know, Cody Jordan was using that to get where he wanted to be. So you give the, the round to Clemens? Yes, I think two rounds to nothing, Jacob Clemens. Tyler? Yeah, absolutely, man. I think Clemens all the way on those. So a little bit of a late flurry by Cody Jordan, but not enough as it appears that Jordan is going to have to get a knockout or a submission to win this bout. And, yeah. you know, ultimately, you know, Clemens, uh, Cody Jordan did close the distance, but he pulled guard and ended up on his back. That's a takedown for Jacob Clemens, if you really look at it on the books. Ready to go here at Valor Fights 22 at the International. Cody Jordan and Jacob Clemens. Jordan in the black trunks. Clemens 
in the silver and black or gray and black. And there's that leg kick to the head that you guys were looking for. Well, and that's what Jordan needs to do. He needs to switch things up constantly. Keep Jacob Clemens on his heels. Leaping front kick from Jordan, but again, not following it up. In the corner of Jordan telling him he's got to be aggressive. If I were Jacob Clemens, I would do the switch up now. I, you know, he, he throws well, but I think that he has let Cody Jordan getting get him into his groove. Jacob Clemens needs to do what made him successful in the first round. That's close the distance, throw those punches, and hey, get the takedown and put Jordan on his back. An attempt to take. Oh advantage. wow! Here we go. Look at that, Cody Gordon. Clemens wants to stand up. He's got the advantage in the stand-up. Now that being said, you know, Cody Jordan appears to be very dangerous on the ground, going after those leg submissions. Uh, Jacob Clemens just too quick. Has Clemens slowed down Tyler with the offense at all in your opinion? I, I feel a little bit, but he might just be waiting. You know, he might be waiting. I, I feel like he might have a chip on his shoulder about those leg kicks and kind of waiting to catch one and really lay him out with one of those. Um, you know, a, a lot of times when a guy keeps doing the same thing and it's not really successful, you just want to catch him with it and, and prove to him that it wasn't successful. We're past the halfway mark in round number three is a two exchange blow. Nice shots by Cody Jordan. I actually have Cody Jordan ahead in this round. Jordan, you can see the visual effects of this fight as he's got a knot over his left eye and some marks under on, on his both cheeks. Oh, nice. nice right hand by Jacob Clemens. I got a sweat shower from that one over here <laughs> at the cage side. Clemens going for the, it's going to be Jordan going for the takedown. Beautiful sprawl. Spin to get the back. It appears as though Cordy Jordan will do anything to get Jacob Clemens to the ground, including pull guard and work from his back. Jacob Clemens needs to be very, very careful. Uh, Cody Jordan, this is exactly where he wants to be. He wants to attack that guard. Uh, we've seen it earlier tonight. 20 seconds to do something here for Cody Jordan, or he could take loss number two in his career. Went for a triangle, but Clemens slipped out, and they're back to their feet. Nice. Clemens on the prowl to finish off this round. Oh. Beautiful fight. Josh Ward barely missing it. <laughs> A fantastic flurry in exchange from both at the end in round number three. And this is going to go to the scorecards. Guys, looks like Clemens. Yeah, absolutely. 10 9 Jacob Clemens. I do think that, uh, I do think that, uh, you know, Jordan started off in, in, ahead in that round. I think Clemens came on strong as it went. Take a look at the replay here. There was that stiff overhand right. That might have been the cleanest shot standing up in the fight. And that's where the sprawl and as Jordan went for the takedown. So much different for Cody Jordan this time as at Apex 5, he won in 21 seconds in round number one. But they go to the scorecards here at Valor Fights 22 at the International. Flyweight, 125 pound bout. Very exciting between these two. We go to the cage for the official decision. Here's Cody Gwynn. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, back to your judges' scorecards for this. Judges score this bout 30, 27. 29-28 and 29-28 all for your win by unanimous decision out of the right corner, Jacob!